wanted to uh, talk about cleaning a table saw today. And uh, I've got a, an old Craftsman that I've had for quite a few years now. And um, pretty basic, nothing too extraordinary about it. But uh, the top of it does get dirty. And when that happens, there's a, almost kind of like a, a layer of grime that just kind of builds up on it. And uh, unfortunately for me, I'm, I'm in a, a garage where uh, the garage door opens and I have water that kind of blows in sometimes. So uh, the cast iron, if, uh, if you don't have a, a layer of wax on top of it, um, you start to get uh, just a little bit of rust. And so I have to clean that off pretty good and constantly keep wax in it um, or it'll, it'll look really messy after a while. But uh, the boards, you know, when, they're, when the table hasn't been waxed recently, it just kind of it just kind of sticks as it tries to go across and you just you don't want that I mean when you want to cut a board you want it to really slide right across so uh, today I'm just gonna clean it up show you how I wax it and hope hopefully that uh, shows you what I do pretty simple I just take a paper towel and I just really wipe it down try and get all the sawdust off of it that, that I can um, all the dust and uh, once I've got all that cleaned off then I, I move on to uh, to waxing it, and you can see this one's this one's pretty dirty. Um, well, maybe not too bad. And uh, you're gonna want to clean the entire thing off, and uh, make sure you get your rip fence as well. Table saw all cleaned off. It's ready to go. And the uh, next thing I like to do is use a product called Johnson's Paste Wax. It comes in this yellow can that you see right here, and you can get it in pretty much all of the big box stores. Uh, I think I. I've gotten mine at Menards, and it's pretty cheap. doesn't really cost a whole lot. And uh, I'm certainly no paid spokesman for Johnson's Pace Wax, but uh, boy would I like to be Johnson's Pace Wax, the fine folks here. And uh, we'll show you how I do it next. If you were like me, the first time uh, you looked into doing this, I read in my manual, you know, how to, how to secure your table saw, and it talked about applying a thin layer of wax to the, to the table. <laughs> And I was a little apprehensive. I just thought, really? Just wax? You know, it's not a car, it's a table saw. Um, but, but that's exactly what you do. You just lay it on, uh, just like you would a car, and you uh, dab it on, and uh, you just kind of wipe it on. And you just uh, do a, a thin layer, go all the way around it. And uh, I don't know if you can see the sheen that, that's kind of getting left there or not. But uh, after you get a you know, everything on there just so then uh, you wait about 20-30 minutes and uh, after about 20-30 minutes it'll uh, turn kind of a, a white pasty look and um, I'll show you that in just a minute don't know how well it'll come through on the video or not but uh, after that then we'll just buff it out and uh, I wax the entire uh, top of my table saw, including the rip fence. Um, and also, you know, any part where the wood's going to come in contact, uh, this little area right here, I don't know why I didn't think to do it the first couple times I did mine. Um, but, you know, your board actually slides right across the top of that, so make sure you get that as well. And uh, I, I don't know how well on the video this is going to show up, uh, but there is this kind of sheen or film that's just on the uh, table saw. And uh, now, really, it's just a matter of just kind of buffing it out. You just kind of wipe it off. You'll go over the entire uh, table with that. And um, I have read before that some some people like to do two coats of it. Not sure, <laughs> not sure why. I think one coat does just fine. Uh, but you know, try it out and see what works for you. The same amount of time that it's taken you to uh, watch this video, you can actually have your uh, table saw cleaned and uh, waxed off. And I uh, don't know how well this will show up on the video or not, but, but if, if you can see this board, I can just kind of push it and it just kind of glides right across. And uh, I'm not putting any pressure on that at all. And that's, that's really what you want when you're uh, making cuts, you know, multiple cuts. You want it to just glide across. You don't want anything sticking, uh, especially with some of the plywood stuff. Um, I've noticed, you know, whenever I haven't cleaned it for a while, I, I get more tear out. gets a little wobbly on me. So uh, definitely worth your time to do it. So uh, check out uh, my website at woodlogger.com and uh, I'll continue to uh, put more videos and tips and tricks out there. Thanks.